When I was at primary school, I played the flute, and somebody left the percussion section in the school band, and the conductor of the band said, would you like to have a go at playing percussion? And I said, yes, I would, and I sat behind the drum kit, and I absolutely loved it. And so for a while, I played drum kit and flute in the school band, and then eventually focused on percussion and expanded the instruments that I played to timpani, xylophone, conga drums, bongos, and so on. And that's one of the things I love about playing percussion is the variety of instruments that I get to play and techniques and therefore the styles of music that I can take part in. This particular instrument is the snare drum. It's a drum, in other words, a hollow shape with a skin stretched over it, and it also has some wires on it that rattle to give it a very distinctive sound. <laughs> very sort of military sound and when I was young and growing up I used to hear pipe band drummers using this drum or a drum very like it and playing very very fast notes and I wanted to learn how to to play with that technique and so it's something I try and practice every day uh, and you you really as a percussionist have to get really good stick, stick technique uh, developed so I'm going to play one hand then the other hand <laughs> Rolling the sticks like that, then I'm going to do two with each hand. Then I'm going to mix that up so I have right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's called paradiddle. And you work on these techniques to get them all faster and faster. mixing up all the sticking patterns to be quite at home with using sticks on the drums. Something that I'm often asked is how do you do a drum roll and I'm going to demonstrate that to you now. I play two notes with each stick, right, right, left, left, or as we call it mama dada, and we get faster and faster till there's no gaps whatsoever and the drum suddenly goes from being an instrument that produces a short sound to a very long sustained sound. So here's how to do a drum roll. It takes quite a bit of practice, but it's great fun to do. Well, it's very easy to make a sound on a percussion instrument. You don't need to learn how to breathe or to blow uh, or to bow like a string instrument. You can make the sound instantaneously. The tricky bit is controlling it with very complex sticking patterns and different dynamics, different volume levels. And that really does take practice. Check out a couple of websites, the Royal Marines Drum Corps and the Top Secret Drum Corps, and you'll see amazing stick techniques, something like this. Well, this particular instrument is a xylophone. It consists of wooden note bars and it allows me to play melodies, something I couldn't do just on the snare drum on its own. So I can play any tune, just like a violin or a flute can, um, and the notes are laid out in the same way as a piano keyboard. We have groups of two and three accidentals on a raised back row, and then the natural notes on the front. And essentially, playing the xylophone is like target practice. You've got lots of different targets, wood blocks essentially, that you need to hit in the right order to play the correct notes for the melody. So you have to practice lots of exercises, as for any other instrument. Uh, scales, for instance. Arpeggios. Broken chords. And of course you have to practice them in every single key, majors, minors, chromatics, whole tone scales, etc. Faster and faster. Again, developing your stick technique, as for the snare drum, but also your spatial awareness of finding your way around the complete uh, range of the instrument. The xylophone can play very happy pieces of music, very bright, very fun, almost like circus music in a way. And this piece of music was written in the early 1900s and it's called Xylophonia.
I think the crucial thing is to make sure that you get yourself a good teacher, uh, contact the music colleges or the musicians union or the incorporated society of musicians for recommendations for teachers and then just work hard basically, listen to the advice, work hard, have a structured program of practice and you'll do really well.